Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Shannon here with Fit for Profit, where we help fitness business owners to keep more of your money so that you can focus on the heroic work you do with your clients. Um, so I'm just curious, it's Thursday, and um, I was down and out yesterday for the count, <laughs> and I've had two team members today say, I'm not feeling well, I'm under the weather, I feel like fall is settling in to the Midwest and Northeast, at least, that's where our team members are, headachy, and it's just really, I feel like just the change in seasons, so I hope everybody that is joining us today um, is feeling well, or if you're not, that you're watching from your couch or, or wherever you may be chilling out and feeling better today, trying to get yourself better. I know as business owners, sometimes it's really hard to take that time off. So um, I encourage you to do that. And um, that's really not at all what I wanted to talk about today, but I thought we would just give everybody a little time to get here with us. I'm a little bit late. I'm supposed to be at 1030, but this is the time. So Today, I wanted to talk to you about um, words. And I know that as accountants, we talk about numbers a lot. And de numbers definitely tell the truth. That's what we believe. Um, but words also matter a lot. And the words we use affect our minds. So numbers tell the truth, but the words affect our brain and the way our brain works. And so if you know that words matter, just Give me a wave in the comments, a thumbs up, whatever, some kind of emoji to let me know that you also believe words matter. Today, I wanted to talk to you um, specifically about one word, <laughs> um, but there are lots of words that matter. And I just used the word that I wanted to talk to you about today. It's the word but, um, and just the B-U-T side of that, right? Um, because it changes, like I said, the way we think about it. So I really just wanna give you some good examples. Um, when we use the word but, it really closes off our mind to the possibilities. So if we can change the word but to and, our mind expands and we have an opportunity then to think about our situation in a different way. So I wanted to give you two possibilities. These are literal sentences that I have heard from clients in the last week or so. First one is this, I want to hire help, but I can't afford it. It leads to scarcity. Like right away, you're like, yep, you're right. You can't afford it. Not much you can do about it, right? You have to work more in your business. That's all there is to it. What if instead we say, I want to hire help and I don't have the money right now. That allows us to think about when will I have the money? Um, what kind of help do you want to have in your business? How much is that actually going to cost? Is there somebody that might be looking for five hours a week at the amount that you have to pay for that? So you may not have enough money for a grant, like a full-time employee, but let's get real. Like, what are you actually looking for? Um, so if you see how using that and replacing the but with an and, allows your mind to ask more questions and get more creative instead of shutting it down right away. So let's try another one. I want to raise my prices, but I'm afraid I'll lose too many clients. I hear that all the time. And the mind goes, okay, I guess you just have to keep working harder for the same pay, even though you're constantly improving at your craft, you're getting better, you're learning. It's just not worth it. You just have to keep doing it at the same rate. What if instead we change that and we say, I want to raise my prices and I'm afraid I'll lose too many clients. So it's really the exact same thing. Instead of I want to raise my prices, but I'm afraid I'll lose too many clients. I want to raise my prices and I'm afraid I'll lose too many clients. Now the brain gets to ask, how much of an increase, imp increase in price are we talking? What's the dollar amount there? How many clients could you afford to lose? If everybody else started you paying started paying you the increase rate, how much revenue would you generate and how many could you afford to lose and have the exact same revenue that you have right now so that the next client is at a higher price point and increases your revenue? Or afraid of what? What are you afraid of? Are you afraid that everybody's gonna lose or are you afraid 
afraid that you're going to leave? Are you afraid of one client? So like I said, your brain starts to ask different questions then, and you start to be a little bit more creative. You are allowed to be more creative. So once you have those answers about how much price increase are we talking, or how many clients can you afford to lose, then we can say, are you still as afraid of, as before, or is it less afraid and now you can move forward? Or what do you need to be less afraid? So there's lots and lots of different questions that can come up when you change the but to an and. So I'm curious, let me know in the comments, what are you currently stuck with a but? And maybe we can help you to come up with some creative questions that can open your mind to the and instead of the but. Um, so like I said, today we talked about more words rather than numbers. They're both super important. We all use words to talk about our numbers, so they definitely go together. And if you can't think of a but in your life today, what was another takeaway that you had from this? Has there been a time where you've used that? And what was the creative um, answer that you were able to come up with? I'd love for you to share in the comments and I'll drop back by tomorrow probably sometime to see what you all have to say. Um, and I will also be back here next Thursday at 1030. And right now I'm thinking about some more words over numbers, um, things that have come up. But if you have a numbers question or anything really that you want us to talk about next Thursday at 1030, feel free to DM me and I will be sure to address it. Until then, I hope everyone is feeling well, like I said, and have a great rest of your week.